Hi guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Glen by Sam. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe if you want new beauty videos three to five times a week. And if you are already a subscriber, then of course, hi, welcome back. So glad you're watching again. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top three in every category. I think it was Julia Adams who came up with this stack, but then I saw multiple people do this video, including Emily's makeup bag, so I will link both of their videos down below. But I thought it would be fun to do this for myself, because I always like to share my makeup favorites with you guys. And with this video, I actually get to share multiple makeup favorites in each category. Now, I'm going to be talking about the categories that I use. Now, for instance, I don't really use eyeliner since I have quite hooded eyes. It's just not a product that I use, so I'm going to skip that category, and then I'm also not going to do primers because I don't really use a lot of primers. I've recently started to get into primers a bit more, but I don't really have enough knowledge of them to really share my favorites with you. But for the rest, I'm going to show you my favorites in every other category that I use. So I think without further ado, if you want to see my top three in every category, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start with foundation and this includes tint moisturizers, foundations, just products like that and I'm going to share my top three favorites. So the first one I'm just going to talk about it straight away because it's not going to be a surprise but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is the foundation that I wear in most of my videos. I know a full coverage foundation is definitely not everyone's cup of tea and it also isn't always mine but the reason why I love this foundation so much is because it looks so natural on the skin like even where I wear a full face of makeup with this foundation foundation, it doesn't even look like I have so much makeup on. It just looks so flawless and so much like actual skin that I really enjoy wearing this. I just love this one so much and a little bit of this goes a long way so I definitely think this is worth the money. But on days where I want a bit less coverage, I like to reach for a tinted moisturizer. So the one that I enjoy the most right now is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I will also link all of these products in the description box in case you want to pick something up. But I really like the scented moisturizer. I feel like it's a really good value for money. It looks really, really pretty on the skin and I feel like it is hydrating. It's definitely much more of like a glowy finish than a matte finish in my opinion. But I really love how that looks on your skin. It really makes your skin look super fresh and a bit dewy and I just think this is really pretty. I have mine in the shade Light 6W which I was a little surprised by because that is definitely not the lightest shade and in the Charlotte Tilbury foundation I wear 2 Neutral which is definitely one of the lighter shades but this shade is actually really nice on me and I think that's also because it blends out so sheer so this really makes your skin look like skin. It doesn't give the most coverage but it's really nice on days where you just want a bit of extra color to your face maybe or like a little bit of coverage but you don't want to reach for like a foundation. So that is why I really enjoy this one and I also think it is really affordable for a nice tinted moisturizer. And then another foundation that I really enjoy wearing is actually from Estee Lauder and this is a classic. This is the Double Wear Foundation. Now I actually got this I think like a year ago and I haven't been using this as much anymore. Really making this video reminds me that I need to reach for it more. But the reason why I'm putting this in my favorites is because I still always enjoy wearing this. When I apply this to the skin it just looks gorgeous and it's just a really really pretty foundation. And the next category is concealers and I'm actually going to cheat a little bit in this category because I actually only have two that I've been really enjoying so I'm still like looking for new concealers to try but the first one is just a classic favorite of mine. I've been using this for years, well not this two but I've been buying this for years now and this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define and I especially like the super size because it just lasts so long. I think was supposed to be a dupe of the Tarte Shape Tape. I've never tried Tarte Shape Tape but this is so affordable. It just comes with a really big doe food applicator. It looks really pretty on the skin and I also love wearing this like on its own just a bit of concealer and then powder and like no foundation so for me this is definitely a really good concealer especially for the price and then the next concealer that I really enjoy is a high-end one and this is actually from NARS so this is the NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade vanilla I've talked about this multiple times on my channel this is truly a beautiful concealer the only reason why I've only have this small tube is because it's just a little expensive so I never really buy the full size but there's still some product left in here so I'm actually wearing this today. This just looks so flawless on the skin. I just always enjoy reaching for this but I don't reach for it as much because it is a bit more expensive than like the Makeup Revolution for instance. But like I said I am looking for a new concealer so if you know any good concealers that I need to try then definitely let me know. Then the next category is powder and the first powder that I really enjoy is a pressed powder and this is by Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. This is 
is truly a beautiful powder. I have heard people say that this is like a tube of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I don't necessarily think it's that much of a tube but it is a beautiful powder. So this just comes in quite a big compact. You have the powder right here and then you have like a little sponge applicator underneath. I have mine in the shade Porcelain. This is just a really nice powder especially for days where I'm not wearing any foundation. So maybe when I'm just wearing concealer this is beautiful to apply on top and it really mattifies the face and I feel like it gives a tiny bit of coverage. I feel like it looks really beautiful on the skin. And the next powder that I have is actually a loose powder and this is one you've seen on my channel like multiple times. And this is the Fenty Beauty Mini Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Really long name but this is actually the mini and I've had this for a year and there's still product left in here so this has lasted me so long and I use this pretty much every time I wear makeup because it just looks so beautiful on the skin. It really mattifies, it doesn't look cakey and this shade looks really really pretty. This is the shade Butter so this is more of like a yellow undertone but I feel like that looks really natural on my skin tone and this is a beautiful powder. And then the next one, the third powder that I need to show you is from Hourglass. I actually used to own this in a single but now I only have this in this little holiday palette. But the powder I'm talking about are the ambient lighting powders and it's a really pretty powder and I love wearing this powder on days where I'm not wearing any foundation. Just like the Flower Beauty powder, it just looks beautiful on its own and I feel like this looks beautiful under the under eyes and it's definitely more expensive but for me it is worth the price because I always enjoy wearing this. And I went through an entire mini of this and now I'm glad to have it in this face palette. Then next we have bronzer. So the first bronzer that I really enjoy is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is actually in the mini film star bronze and glow. So this is just the bronzer shade in this little duo. I've talked about this on my channel as well, how much I love this. I feel like this bronzer has such a perfect undertone. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. So it's a perfect neutral tone bronzer and it's not too dark. You can kind of build it up so it's really easy to work with and every time I wear this I just love how the look turns out. I really don't know how I haven't hit pan in this because I have used this so much but there is still so much product left in here and considering this is the mini size that is such an amazing value. So I really enjoy this one and I think a lot of you guys will like it too if you're into like lighter bronzers. Then the second bronzer that I have is actually also from Charlotte Tilbury but this is just one of my all-time favorite bronzers and this is the big airbrush bronzer. Now this compact it's literally so big. I couldn't believe when I received this how big it actually is. So this is truly a beautiful bronzer. It's definitely warmer than the bronzing glow one but I really like it on the skin. I still feel like it looks really natural. The only like downside with this bronzer is that the shade range is kind of bad. This is the shade medium and I'm definitely more of a light in bronzer sometimes but to be honest the light version of this kind of looked like a setting powder to me. So I don't know what happened with that shade range but I just got the medium and it worked really well on my skin. I have to be a little careful that I'm not applying too much but it's definitely still workable and I just feel like it looks beautiful on the skin and it goes so well with my other Charlotte Tilbury products. So and this is actually a massive size so it's actually worth the money for me. And then I of course also had to put in a cream bronzer. So a cream bronzer that I really enjoy is the Tower 28 Bronzino in the shade West Coast. Again, talked about this on my channel a lot. I like to talk about products that I love. So you've probably seen me talk about this already, but this is a beautiful, beautiful cream bronzer. It's a really pretty undertone. It kind of has more of a red undertone, which is really different compared to my other bronzers. But this goes on the cheeks so beautifully. It has the most gorgeous glow with still actually looking like a bronzer and not a highlighter. And it just looks beautiful. I love this. It's so easy to blend. It lasts on the skin. And I really think this is a gorgeous cream bronzer. And then for the category blushes, I actually have another cream product and this is the Tower 28 Beach Place blush in the shade Magic Hour. Now this is the shade Magic Hour and it's really pretty sort of like dusty pink and for me it's just the perfect color of blush but the reason why I love this so much is not necessarily because of the shade but because of the formula. This is so easy to apply. It applies pretty pigmented so you don't need a lot of this and it blends out so beautifully. It just gives the most natural color and glow to the skin and it actually lasts the 
entire day, which is really, really good about this product. I know some cream blushes kind of like fade throughout the day, but this one stays on the face really, really well. And because the color is quite pigmented, it's actually also visible, but it's still looking natural, if that's making any sense. So this is definitely a recommendation from Tower 28. I do prefer this shade over Rush Hour because I feel like this goes with more pink looks that I like to do. So this is the Magic Hour from Tower 28. And Tower 28 is actually also available at Cult Beauty now. Then the second blush probably also won't be a surprise and this is actually the Bare Minerals Bronzer and even though this is a hybrid between a blush and a bronzer, I never really use it as a bronzer, I always use it as a blush. I'm wearing this right now and this is just such a favorite of mine because I love wearing this. I think it was Kelly Gooch who was talking about this product all the time and I watched her videos and I was like I need to buy this blush and it truly didn't disappoint. It's so pigmented. It's a really, really gorgeous color. This is the shade Kiss of Pink. It's kind of like more of a warm tone pink. So this is definitely a blush that really has become one of my favorites. And then for my last blush favorite, I'm going to go back into this Hourglass palette. And the one I want to show you is this one right here, because this is the shade Mood Exposure. This is also a really popular blush as a single, and it's a really pretty gorgeous mauve color. So it looks like I haven't used this as much, but I use it quite a bit actually, because it looks so beautiful on the skin, and I really love the undertone of this. So I feel like this is definitely a blush that a lot of people will love. So that is why I wanted to share it, and that is the shade Mood Exposure. Then time for highlighter, which is one of my favorite parts about makeup. So the first one I'm going to show you is the one I'm actually wearing right now, if you can see that. That is the one from Colourpop in the shade Horse and Carriage. Now, this one is out of stock so many times, I'm not sure if it's available right now, but if it is, I'll link it. So this is what it looks like. It's a really gorgeous sort of like gold champagne color. It's a really pretty like light gold and it's so pigmented on the skin. I don't know if you're able to see it, but I only needed like a tiny amount of this and it already looks so pigmented on the skin. So it's definitely a gorgeous highlighter. And even though it is pigmented, it still looks pretty natural. So this is one I've been really enjoying and it's also really affordable. And then another one I have been enjoying a lot, you've probably seen me talk about this so much already as well, is the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighter. And first of all, look at this design. It looks so, so pretty in the pan. This is the shade Ozone, and I would say it's really similar to this one from Colourpop, but it's a lot more subtle. So this one you really have to build up a bit more, but I really like that because then I can also go for like a really natural highlight. This one can be a little pigmented, but this one never too pigmented. It just looks like a beautiful glow on the skin without being like too blinding, if that makes sense. And the formula feels really creamy. It's a powder, but the formula feels really really creamy so it just goes on the skin so well and I just always enjoy wearing this. And then the third highlighter for this category is the one from the film store Bronze and Glow as well. So I really like the bronzer but I also really like the highlighter. It's really similar to those previous ones I showed but it's really really beautiful. I would say it's kind of like in between the Colourpop and Nabla one. So Nabla is really subtle and then the Colourpop one is much more pigmented and this one is kind of like in the middle so it's not too pigmented but it's also not too too subtle and it just looks beautiful on the skin and the shade is really really similar to the other twos. Th those are typically the shades for highlighter I like to reach for. I kind of like these light gold champagne colors. So this is also from that Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Mini Bronze and Glow. So then let's talk about brow products. So my favorite brow product is this brow cheat from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been using this every time I wear makeup pretty much since I got this. I've just ordered a second refill because I go through this quite fast but that is because I use it so much and I always love filling in my brows with this. So this is kind of like a really small tip. I can't really show it that well because this one is empty right now. I kind of used the last amount of product left in here this morning, so I need to wait until Monday or Tuesday when I get my new package. And I love that this is refillable because then I could just like buy the refills. It saves me money. And it's also more sustainable because this outer packaging I can definitely still use so I don't really feel the need to buy a brand new one so I just get the refill and it works so so well. I also really like the shade, like I said this is the shade taupe and I feel like it's a perfect shade for my brows. And then also a brow gel from the same brand is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the legendary brows and I also have this in that same shade. 
I like this brow gel a lot, but it's not really a brow gel that keeps your hairs in place really long. It's more of like a tint to the brows, if that makes sense. So if you want a gel that's really going to stick your brows into the same place, then don't get this one because this is not going to do that. She also has a clear brow gel, which will work better for that. But this is really nice if you just want a quick tint to the brows. So if you don't necessarily want to fill them in, or I like to use this on top of that brow pencil. And it just looks really, really natural. And I love wearing this on no makeup makeup days because it looks so natural, but it still looks really, really pretty. And then next I want to share a drugstore favorite. So this was the brow pencil I always used to use before I got the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I thought I would share this. And this is actually by e.l.f. And this is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I never really see a lot of people on YouTube talk about this, which which in my opinion is a little strange because I truly feel this is a good product. It's kind of like a round, really tiny tip, so it's kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it works so well. It's a really, really good pencil. So if you are looking for a nice, affordable brow pencil that's kind of similar to like the Benefit Precisely My Brow or the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat, then I think you will definitely enjoy this one from e.l.f. I have this one in shade taupe as well, and I think I prefer the shade of the Charlotte Tilbury one a tiny bit more for a taupe shade. This is a bit warmer, but it's still really, really pretty, and I've used this for a long time. So then next we have arrived at the category eyeshadow palettes and I really love eyeshadow palettes and my preferences for eyeshadow palettes change quite a lot so I feel like my favorite eyeshadow palettes also change quite a lot but I think the ones that are really solid favorites within my collection are definitely these three I'm going to show you. So the first one is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. This was last year's holiday release and I've gotten a lot of use out of this. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is what the palette looks like. It's a little hard to show but I also showed this in a recent video so I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. I will link my video with my favorite eyeshadow palettes down below in case you want to see like my top 10. But this is a beautiful palette. You have pastels, you have like deeper shades, you have purples, you have greens. There's just such a big variety of colors in here and I feel like every time I create a look with this it just looks so so beautiful. If I could change one thing about this palette it's definitely the formula of the shimmers. They have a bit more fallout than I would prefer. This is just a really good Too Faced palette. Next, the second favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Pillow Talk Palette. This is a beautiful one too. Again, not going to talk about this for too long because I just talked about it in my video of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. But this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful color story. It's kind of hard to show because the packaging is so reflective. But there's a beautiful variety of like pinky warm tones in here. And every time I create a look with this, it just turns out beautifully. If it is still available, I will link it in the description box. But this is a gorgeous palette and definitely a favorite of mine. And then the last one, the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette Quad in the shade Fire Rose. I've talked about this so much on my channel. This is unfortunately discontinued, so you're not really able to buy this anymore. But this was also from the holiday collection of 2020, and it just looks so beautiful. Look at these shades. This is such a beautiful crease shade. This brown is so beautiful. This rose gold is absolutely beautiful over the lid. And then this super pop shade is amazing. And it really makes every look so special. So even though there's only like one look you can make with this, it is still a really, really pretty palette. And every time I use this, I'm in love with my eyeshadow palette look. So truly this category was kind of difficult because I love most of my eyeshadow palettes so much. Like I'm wearing my Natasha Denona Love palette right now. It looks so beautiful too. And just know I love my other palettes as well. So then time to move on to mascaras and again if you know me you know I'm not the biggest mascara fan. My lashes are really straight and short so never really a mascara works that well for me so I always buy drugstore mascaras. So the two I want to show you for this video are the ones that I love using and that are affordable. So the first one is the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. I just love this mascara. It works so well. I wear this pretty much every single day and I like I said I just don't really feel the need to buy an expensive of mascara. So this is also the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, but this is the False Lash Effect Mascara. So this one gives a bit more length and then this one gives a bit more volume, but I don't really prefer one over the other. I like both of them. Right now I'm just always using this one, but when this is empty I'm probably going to be getting a new one of this. I never really feel the need to buy an expensive mascara because truly they don't do that much more for my lashes than these drugstore ones. 
So then we have arrived to lip six and first one I want to talk about I actually cannot find it's probably in one of my bags But it is one from Mac and it is in the shade modesty I will insert a picture of it right now if I have it, but it's a beautiful lipstick It's a really pretty more cool tone lipstick and I wear it in quite a lot of videos because I feel like it goes with so many eye looks so that is really one that surprised me and I really enjoy but the other two I have right here are from Charlotte Tilbury and these are not a surprise if you've been following my channel these are my absolute favorite lipsticks so the first one is actually the one I'm wearing right now and that is of course Pillow Talk Pillow Talk is such a classic shade I actually didn't like it as much at first but now I'm like so in love with this lipstick I wear this so so much it's truly a beautiful lipstick and I definitely now know why this shade got like so much hype around it because it's truly beautiful and it looks so perfect on the lips and it also wears really really nice so I think these are both in the matte revolution formula but the second one I have is actually very Victoria and very Victoria is pretty similar to pillow talk I'll swatch them next to each other for you so this is Pillow Talk and then this one is Very Victoria. So Very Victoria is a little bit deeper than Pillow Talk and I feel like Very Victoria is also a tiny bit more brown if that makes sense. So I really like both of these lipsticks. So these are definitely my favorite ones in my collections and I just wear them so so much. And for lip liners the first one I want to show you is my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk as well. This is a beautiful lip liner that goes so well with the Pillow Talk lipstick. As you can see, it's a really beautiful shade and it is a tiny bit deeper than the Pillow Talk lipstick and it just looks so lovely together. But I also love wearing this with other lipstick or like with a gloss. Then my next favorite is the shade BFF from Colourpop and this is also a beautiful lip liner. I'll swatch that next to this one. So this is what the shade BFF looks like. It's definitely a lot more brown and it is a little lighter than the Pillow Talk lipstick. But this is a beautiful lip liner and I feel like the Colourpop lippy pencils are such a good value because they're so affordable but they really perform like high-end lip liners. And then the third one is actually also from Colourpop and this is the lippy pencil in the shade O Snap. And this is much more pink. So this one is pretty similar to the Pillow Talk one. So if you're looking for a dupe of the Pillow Talk lip sheet, then I think you will definitely like this one. From Colourpop, again, it's called Oh Snap and it works really, really well. I really love the formula of the Colourpop ones, but I also love the formula of my Charlotte Tilbury liners. And then for the last category of this video, I feel like this video was getting a little long, so thank you if you're still watching. But the first gloss that is one of my favorites is from Fendi Beauty, and this is in the shade Fendi Glow. I'll swatch this on my hand too. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful sort of like brown gloss, and it just looks so beautiful on the lips. It's definitely more warm toned, so I really love wearing this when I wear warm toned eye looks. I just feel like it looks really, really beautiful, and this formula is so lovely. Then another favorite of mine is my Tower 28 Shine lip jelly in the shade oat so this is a beautiful beautiful light brown gloss and it just looks so pretty on the lips this doesn't have shimmer in there but it's a beautiful gloss as you can see it's a bit lighter than Fenty Glow and I love wearing this in the center of like a lipstick but I also love wearing this with a lip liner and this shade is just so beautiful I can talk about this for an entire day like how I want to wear this it's so beautiful and I just love this one so much and then the third gloss is actually also one of my favorites and I'm trying to use this up and I don't like this formula as much as the other two I showed you but I still really enjoy the shade and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Jewel Lips in the shade Pillow Talk. This was also from last year's holiday collection but I think these are still available and I'm actually trying to use this up but I really like this shade. As you can see it's really that beautiful Pillow Talk shade so it just goes so well with like my Pillow Talk lip liner on top of this Pillow Talk lipstick or with like pinky eye loop. It's just a beautiful gloss. This formula is a bit more sticky than the other ones, but I don't really mind it as much. And like I said, I'm trying to use this up, so it's a really beautiful gloss. Okay, guys, and this was it for my top three in every category. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I hope the lighting is still decent because it's getting pretty dark outside. The weather isn't that great today, but I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you're still watching right now, then thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching this video because it was a pretty long one, but I really enjoyed sharing my favorites with you in every category and I thought this was such a fun video ID so feel free to share your favorite products in the comment section I would love to discover new products that could potentially become my favorites and I also wanted to say that if you did enjoy this video then I would absolutely love it if you gave the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos all of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it but with that said and to thank you guys all so much for watching I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you on my next video
Bye.